this is the main interface of our mini project. The title of our mini project is Automated Customer Self-Service Counter System. In this project, we are using MTK85 microprocessor board to run our mini project. As you can see, uh, this is our main interface. This shows that uh, when the user can choose either their customers or admin. And this two zero uh, this zero one number is shown uh, for the number of customer or number of people in the gallery. This four is for the price showing, uh, and later we'll show it. And this is to show when there is an interrupt or in our project, it means that when there is a uh, customer walk in or walk out, it will light up. And our buzzer is used too for the customer walk in and out. For example, now it's reset 5.5. When there is an interrupt, you can see this 4 bit of LED is light up and our uh, 77 is increased by 1. So it will now become 2. And if 6.5 is on, the left 4 bit will uh, light up and it will decrease by 1. And our buzzer, you can hear that there is customer up. So if 0, 1, it can't be decreased anymore. Okay. So next, when we are customer, we choose one. So we press one, and there is a uh, seven section for us to choose. Uh, this is the first page, one and two. The total price of uh, international gallery is two hundred and fifty, local gallery two hundred and seventy. The second page is art class, one hundred and forty. Combo one and three means that uh, the combo of eye gallery and art class so it will be 350 350 and combo 1 2 means international gallery and local gallery total 500 ringgit and the combo for all is 600 ringgit then got seven uh, section for the customer to, to choose and the last section is to return back to main menu so for example I want to I want to go to art class so I choose number three so when I play, I when I press six, seven, or any button except uh this stated three, four, five, and A, B, it will not uh function anything. So for number I now press three. So now it shows that we can uh for example uh customer have many money you can choose uh fifty ringgit, ten, five, and one ringgit to input. So the total price of the art class is one four zero, and at now one four zero um. So for example, uh, the customer has 150 ringgit, so he input 50. So 140 minus 50 equals to 90. So he can also input 10 ringgit, 5 ringgit, or 1 ringgit. So he continue input until uh, the amount input is exceeded or equals to the uh, price. For example, if I input 50 at now, so 50 minus 24, it will be 26 ringgit. So the change will be 26. So please take your change and ticket. Next, it will bring us back to main menu again. So for example, if 250, I choose 250 and I input all 50 ringgit. So if I input another 50, it will show 0, 0. So no changes is needed. No. And at this time, we also can uh, interrupt. So, so it will show 2. And then three. If there is a decrement in people, there will be two. Okay. So now I return back to main menu. And if I am an admin, I will choose two. So enter password. If I enter wrong password, two 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 two, it will show password wrong. Access denied. GPIO will light up, blinking, and then the buzzer will light up. Uh, will Bus. And then if the password uh, for this program is 1111, so if I input 1111, our password will show, uh, it will show password correct, access granted, and the uh, uh, GPIO LED will blink from left to right to left. Okay. So in the admin menu, after uh, input correct uh, password, it will go to admin menu. We can choose either change price or return back to main menu. So if we choose change price, it will show select the section for price changing. Okay. So we can choose one, two, three, and then see four, five, six, and seven. So total seven section to choose. So if uh, 
if I want to change the price of International Gallery, which is um, initially 250 ringgit, so I want to change to 1000 ringgit. For example, so when we return back to main menu and go back to customer, International Gallery will show 1000 ringgit. And 1000 ringgit when we choose. We will it still will function and zero. So at every part, uh, the interrupt will still be function. For example, increase three, four, five, and if decrease, four, three, it will still be function. So if we input password correct. This will still be function. That's all.